All right, now we're going to talk about how the ball is supposed to be placed in the tee and how it's supposed to be leaning because I get that question a lot. Um, a lot of it's kind of a personal preference as far as where it's supposed to be on the tee. Uh, I'll go into kind of how I liked it when I was, when I was going up through using a tee. Um, uh, and then we'll get into more about how it's supposed to be leaning as far as wh where the football is and why it's supposed to be leaning like that. Leaning like that excuse me. So when we're talking about a tee, <clears throat> if you like it here in, the, in the, the back left, if you like it in the top right, it really doesn't matter. It's more of a comfort thing. The one thing I will recommend is, is, is try to give yourself a half inch to an inch worth of breathing room uh, from the edge of the tee. And that's more so your holder doesn't uh, mess you up when it's time to actually hold the ball. He thinks he's going to get it right there on the edge, but he accidentally misses and he puts it on the ground, right? So always give your holder a little bit of breathing room so that if he misses left or right or up or down, he's still going to hit that tee and he's still going to make, uh, make you have a, a decent kick out of it. Now, when it comes to uh, placing the ball on the tee, you always want to have a slight lean towards the holder, right? I'm giving a, a pretty decent exaggeration of that for the camera so that you guys can see what I'm talking about, but you always want a slight lean towards the holder. And that has to do with contact. So when your foot's coming in, right, we'll get into more of, of contact with your foot and how it's supposed to be opened up when we get into that section. But for right now, just know that, that you want uh, the ball heading in this direction here on this plane. And when your foot comes in, it's going to come in on this plane. You can see how my leg and my foot are coming in here, right? So it has to deal with, with surface area and contacting the ball. Again, I'm not going to get too much into that because that's a whole different section, which we'll get into anyway. But you always want to slightly lean towards the holder so that we can have a, a small amount of surface area touching the ball. We'll get into more of that later. And secondly, if I'm kicking, the, kicking this way here, you always want the ball straight up and down, maybe even slightly lean towards the, the upright or your target, right? And that's to expose the sweet spot of the football, right? A common misconception, especially amongst high school coaches, is you got to lean this ball back. You got to lean this ball back so you can get the ball up in the air. Well, if my sweet spot's right here, right, which is where we're trying to hit the ball, what happens to my sweet spot as I start leaning it back? It disappears, right? Now my foot's coming in and it's getting harder to hit, right? So you always want to keep that thing as upright as you can. Maybe even if you're really good, slightly lean towards the upright so you're really exposing that sweet spot of the ball. So again, we're going to be somewhere in the middle-ish of the tee. Don't put it on the edge. We're going to have a slight lean towards the holder and the ball is going to be uh, upright or maybe leaning a little bit towards your target. So a little bit towards the uh, holder, a uh, straight upright or a little bit towards the target, and somewhere within the middle of the tee giving your holder some breathing room to miss. 